Bad news. What? With the release of version 6 of Ionic, the Ion Slides component will officially be deprecated. Oh no. Anyway. This isn't really that big of a deal because Ionic used the Swiper.js library under the hood anyway, and now we can just use that directly instead. So I just finished migrating to Swiper.js for the first time in one of my applications, and I actually ran into a couple of issues whilst I was doing it. So this video is going to show you exactly what you need to do to convert an Ionic and Angular application to use Swiper.js, including the bits that I got stuck on. So if you go to the Swiper.js website, you can go to this Angular page and it's going to give you some documentation that's relevant to setting this up specifically with Angular. And the first step is just to run the npm install Swiper command. And then the next step is pretty typical. We just need to add the Swiper module to the imports in the module we want to use it in. So you can see here, we just import Swiper module, add it to the imports and that's done. But then this next step is a little bit more atypical. We need to also set up the appropriate CSS for Swiper. So if we look at the docs here, we can see that the CSS is split up into different imports based on what you want to use. So in my case, I wanted to use pagination for my slides. So I just needed the core CSS and the pagination CSS as well. So it shows you how to import these here. What I've done is that I've just added these directly to my global.scss file and I've changed the import syntax a little bit here to match uh, the way the rest of the Ionic CSS imports are imported. So it was at this point that I thought I could now just start using Swiper.js instead of the old Ion Slides component just by using the new syntax or just the Swiper.js syntax, which looks very similar to using the Ion Slides component with an Ion Slide component inside of the Ion Slides. But this time we just have a Swiper component. And then inside of that, we have these ng templates for each slide that we just set up swiper slide on as well. And then we can just put whatever we want inside of those slides, just like we always can. So if you look at what I actually have running over here, you can see that this seems to work. We can slide around, but as you can see, there are no pagination dots. It all works, but the pagination bullets that indicate that there are more slides are not being shown. So what I'd expect to see are those four little dots down here that change as I swipe from one slide to the next. So that is because there is one more crucial step. Just like with the CSS, the Swiper.js functionality is also split up into modules. So if you want to use pagination, that lives in its own module that needs to be added to the core Swiper.js functionality. So to do that, we just need to import Swiper and supply it with an array of the additional modules that we actually want to use. Then we just need to call swiper.use and then just supply that array with anything that we do want to use. And you can also see here that I've got my configuration object set up, which is specifying that I want to use pagination. And then this config object is being attached to my uh, swiper component here. But this swiper.use is the key part of what was actually going wrong here. So if I save that, we can now see that we have those pagination dots displaying at the bottom. So now everything is working as I would expect it to, just like with Ion Slides, except now we are just using Swiper.js directly. So this is just a pretty basic port of some slides functionality. Uh, Swiper.js has so many options that you can figure. Uh, if you just sort of open up the definition of these Swiper options here, you can see just how many different configuration options there are that we can use. And depending on what you do want to use, you might need to set up some additional modules in this swiper.use call as well. Okay, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.